So again, we're following along on our site assessment worksheet. And the first one of the features is describe the location and configuration of the land. I really like using the worksheet because you can consistently describe and document what you're seeing and what you're observing and know um, what some of the information is that you really need to help relate to your farming op potential farming operation to see if it's going to be a good match for you. There's actually quite a bit of pre-work that you can do and I like to do pre-work. Um, there's just so much available information on the internet and in libraries around the country that it really makes it much easier than it used to be. So I've actually been able to print out a property map. I have a topographic map that shows the contours of high areas, low areas. I was able to get the survey of the property so I know where the real boundaries are. And using Google, I printed out a Google map with the satellite background and it actually shows the kind of businesses and the other land uses that are around the property. And then finally, my background is as a soil scientist. I actually worked for 35 years for USDA Natural Resources Conservation Service as a soil scientist. So I think this is really important is to understand as much as you can about the soils on a piece of property. So I created a soil survey report from the Web Soil Survey that gives me quite a bit of soils information about the parcel and can really help determine its suitability for a certain kind of agriculture. So under the site assessment worksheet, physical characteristics, land orientation, boundary size, shape of fields and parcels. So why that's important is that this particular parcel is oriented kind of northwest to southeast. So if you're thinking about sun exposure, particularly if you're a, a vegetable or fruit producer, you really need to have full sun. So you need to know where the sun is coming, different times of day, where you might be able to site um, structures, greenhouses, high tunnels, field orientation. The boundary size and shape of fields and parcels. We're going to be walking over here. You'll see there are some nice open fields. And then as you look here, you actually have a side yard area between a property boundary and the house that could be used. So there's a, but, but again, as we talk about later, um, there may be setback issues, but we know that we have some room there that could be used. And then where are there farm access roads? That all is important to document as far as physical characteristics. The climate, we're here in Connecticut. So we have kind of a moderate humid climate and we're on the edge of what's called the Connecticut Valley, which has its own microclimate. We have about 180 day growing season here, which is nice. And um, as far as access to the property, we have a fairly busy road right in front of us. So there's access right down through the center of the parcel here. And then as we walk around the rest of the parcel, we'll see some other areas where there's access to the fields. Neighbors, you can see on this side, we have a um, storage, kind of an industrial park on this side of the property. You have residential across the street. And then again, because I've done this pre-work, I know that up the street in that direction, there's actually a school, an elementary school. So if it was somebody that was interested in doing ag and classroom, farm to school, um, produce or meat products, in that direction, there's a farm stand that mostly sells fruit. So by doing that pre-work, seeing what the neighborhood is like around here, gives you an idea of what there might be for potential markets, as well as um, potential competition. So I think that that's, that's really important to pay attention to what's in the area. Rural, suburban, or urban, we're in a suburban area. We're very close to highway access. Um, nearby agricultural support services. This parcel actually abuts a extension service center. 
So there are extension specialists that are actually interested in working with a farmer on this property, but there are also garden centers and um, as I mentioned, the farmer's market and um, a tractor supply not very far away, so there are other support services nearby. So again, that's the first part of the location and configuration of the land.